my name is Joe Temperley, and I play the baritone, saxophone, and bass clarinet with the Jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra. I come from a coal mining town, the town of Loch Gelly in Scotland. I worked with Tommy Sampson. I was only 18 then, in the late 40s. I left Tommy Sampson and I went with this clarinet player called Harry Parry. He had a radio rhythm club sextet. He was a pretty good clarinet player, but a terrible drunk. I went from there to Jack Parnell, and that was my sort of introduction to, to people that played jazz. We played a concert with Billie Holiday with Jack Parnell at the Royal Albert Hall. She was wonderful. I started subbing in Humphrey Littleton's band and I was with Hump for seven or eight years. When rock and roll hit England and the Beatles became famous and the Rolling Stones, all the rock groups started coming to the States. That opened everything up for groups to come and we did a tour of the United States in uh, 1959. We came in August and I got off the plane and I had a Harris Tweed jacket on. I thought, what's wrong with me? The sun was blazing down, it was like 100 degrees. And I, you know, I'd never experienced anything like that. On the way back, we were going around New York, we were going to Basie's Club and we got back to the airport. I looked out of the plane and New York was all lit up. You know, there was lights everywhere and it was so beautiful. And you could see the bridges and I said to Eddie, the drummer, Eddie Taylor, I said, you know, I've got to come back here. And five or six years later, I came back. I came to the States in 1965. It was almost Christmas. I thought, what can I do? I can't work because there was a guy from the union there and he said I had to wait six months to get in the union. I walked up Fifth Avenue and there was a department store called Corvettes. They gave me a job and I was selling radios. I'll never forget, everybody walks around with a cell phone now. At that time, everybody walked around with a transistor radio listening to the ball game. All kinds of people that were in New York and I got friendly with everybody, you know. I worked at the Apollo, but the Apollo had a regular band and Miles used to come and stand on the side, you know. We used to see little Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder was about 15 years old and uh, Jackson 5. I played with Dizzy's band and Jimmy Lunsford and Fletcher Henderson. I worked with Ella and I worked with Sarah Vaughan, Peggy Lee. I worked with Diana Ross and Aretha and all these people. I was with the Ellington band on and off for quite a while. I played the show, Sophisticated Ladies, for a couple of years. And I also did a, a show called Brigadoon. Shortly after that, in the 80s, that's when the, the Lincoln Center Band, we started rehearsing and uh, that was the, the start of it all. I've always had a beautiful relationship with Wynton Marsalis. The whole time I've, I've, I've worked with the Lincoln Center Band. I can't believe some of the things that he plays. You know, I sit there and gasping at some of his solos. The standard is so high because everybody's so well-schooled and, and so well-drilled and they just eat all that music up. <laughs> ¶¶